scraps. That's what I did when I we were kids. Uh, yeah. Back in my home. Exactly. Yeah. Canned food is not good. Yeah. Um, do you? Uh, what is your life after you recover uh, with cancer? Is there anything that changed a new perspective that you have? Well, you know, I I felt that there were positive things that came out of it. It was an experience in my life where I, you know, appreciated things differently afterwards and. I wasn't afraid of cancer after I finished my treatment here as, mm -hmm. as much. I still, maybe for a year or two, I was a little worried of getting it back and, you know, and then that five-year period, you know, you watch yourself and everything, but the more time went by, the less I was afraid and of ever getting it back again and now it's been, well, it's going on, it's Eight years uh, this past June that I, I've been cancer free, that I finished my treatment at Valley Cancer Institute here. And so next year it will be nine years that I haven't had one reoccurrence. And, I, and it just, and I had swollen lymph nodes under my arm that were the size of marbles. I could count at least six of them. And I had still the lump in my breast and, you know, the way it was treated, it just, it just dissolved everything, and the lymph nodes went back to their original size, and I was never operated on, and all I ever had was a biopsy to prove that I had cancer. So, and that was at the um, uh, hospital. So. So you're worry free too now. Yeah, I I feel that I will never get cancer back again. I feel confident. But the uh, part is part uh, of that confidence that uh, you're taking care of yourself or your diet or uh, emotionally. Does it help for you, or you yes. just? Yes. Well, you know, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I felt that I would, I would never be the same again. But now I feel just like I did before I was ever di diagnosed, but wow. a little wiser mm -hmm. and a little uh, happier. Oh, that's great. So it, well, it, it's very, funny very happy. how things work out. It's very contagious, your happiness. That's great. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, real. I that's am fantastic. happy. Yeah. And Tibby's happy, too. I can we're, tell that. We're, we're I thank you so, so much uh, uh, for sharing this with us because uh, the idea behind this is that uh, many other people we know about what we are doing. So instead of going through the conventional therapies, they will have a better results, like yeah. uh, not surgery. And, well, I you know. know it works. It worked mm -hmm. great for me. And it was, the, I just wish that, uh, my only wish is that I found Valley Cancer Institute before I went to the conventional doctors. All right, I, I just didn't know it existed, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I, what I'm trying to do is to make it known uh, to the public through the internet, because uh, we can help so many people. Yeah, I know. I wish. I. I. Hopefully, they find you on the internet or yeah. through the Moss reports, or I'm not sure if there's any other ways, but. I hope people find you here. Yeah, actually, fifty percent of the people, of the patients we have, it come through the internet. So yeah, I'm I very happy about that. Yeah, it's funny. I, you know, I didn't even know to look. I don't think I was on the internet at that time. Uh, we started the website in 1999, but it wasn't uh, very. Um, I don't know how to. I don't remember that. I don't think it was very well known at, at that time because we just started. It was a very, yeah. very simple website. And I wasn't very computer savvy back then. I, and you don't remember that you find yourself? I, I knew I was taking, um, no, I didn't find you on the, yeah, as you know, I didn't find you on the internet. Mm -hmm. It was through the Moss reports, mm -hmm. but I, I wasn't into the internet like I am now. Mm -hmm. Now, if it happened, I would search the internet and I would know for sure. Mm -hmm how to find more alternative treatments, but the Moss reports were so important because Ralph Moss specializes in the best statistics on um, cancer cures mm -hmm. uh, of all the clinics in the world that have good statistics. Mm -hmm. And, 
you know, that's what made me feel another reason why I was confident about the Moss reports mm -hmm. and Dr. Beecher's Valley Cancer Institute being in there. So it's a really, you know, important part to finding Valley Cancer Institute. Uh, again, Betsy, um, I'm, I am thrilled to do all these uh, video interviews because I learned so much from all of you and uh, I am just so happy to see you so well enjoying life. Thank oh, you so, so too. much. Oh, me too. You're so welcome. It's such a pleasure to come back and yeah. have good news. But uh, I would like to give you a hug, but I know that your doggy won't let me. <laughs> no. So I will just say hands I'm you. his girl. I see. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> So who is his name? Tibby. Timmy. 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 Yeah, yes. one of my sons. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Betsy. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you.